This is nuts. I've <laughs> never seen this before. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning here at Flagler Beach. And we got fish jumping in the water. We're gonna turn this around. I'm gonna let you see all these fish jumping while I am casting out. I've got a charter today starting in about an hour and a half. Oh, it'll be also a good day to put the go fish cam out if they're still jumping around like this. That's insane. I'm casting it right out about where I see them jumping. So I'm throwing a spoon. Well, oh, it's not exactly a spoon, but it's a metal lure. It's about a three fourth ounce. I think something might be chasing it. Just scared a bunch of bait out of the way. Look how far that thing flies. <laughs> Way out at the sandbar. I can't believe all these fish are jumping and nothing is hitting the set rigs at all. Nothing. <laughs> Way out there. That's awesome. I love how far this thing casts. If you're looking for a good casting rod for the surf, Ninja Tackle Dagger. This is an eight foot six, uh, six inch dagger. And you take that with Super Slick Power Pro blade, Braid. Combined with uh, like a one ounce lure, you're gonna cast so far, you won't even believe it. I don't really know the speed for bluefish. I know like for Spanish mackerel, you wanna do as fast as you can. There could be Spanish out here too, so I'm gonna speed it up a bit. Maybe I'll try a twitch, twitch, pause. Let it drop. Twitch, twitch, pause. Reeling it on the pause. So as it's dropping, you're reeling it up. Twitching it again. Yeah, if one method isn't working, oh, something, yep, yep, yep. Oh, got off. Man, had something on there. Woohoo, that was a good feeling. Woohoo, that was a good feeling. That was a fun feeling. Okay, we're doing that again. Still nothing on the set rigs. Crazy. But it's given me a chance to use my casting rod quite a bit. Okay, that's, that's even further past where I saw that fish. Oh, I had a hit. There's a hit going faster. Could have been a Spanish. Um, this is the last pass for now. And I'm going to check out what's going on with my set rigs, rebate and stuff. Okay, that was a hit. Okay, maybe one more time. <laughs> You know how this goes, guys. You feel a bump, and you're like, oop, that's not my last, that's not my last cast. Throwing food to the fish. They're jumping like crazy over there. Do you see them all? Holy cow. Yeah, they're coming, whatever it is, is coming this way. Look at that all. That's, that's crazy. Look at all these fish jumping. Whoa. This is nuts. I've never seen this before. This is so cool. Out of them. She's jumping. Watching my set rigs because 
all these jumping fish are getting ready to cross. Yep, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. That's one. I got it. Got him in. Oh, that's a Spanish. Oh, guys, this is my first Spanish mackerel. I don't know if it's keeper, but that is what is going on out there is Spanish mackerel. Check this out, guys, on this, on this rig. Holy moly. Dudes, first Spanish mackerel. I gotta look up the regulations on these guys. <laughs> oh, I'm just like excited. Ha! Ah, Spanish mackerel. Okay, 12 inches to the fork. That's what I was thinking. I'm gonna measure this guy up and see where he's at. He is, this is his mouth there. And he is, he is 12 inches, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep this guy and we're gonna get some more. We're gonna try to get some more. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, we won't catch Spanish on our set rigs. We're only gonna catch him on lures. Look at him. Let's see if I can find another one. So I've got some stuff on my camera from, from getting slapped by that Spanish mackerel and I cannot get it off for the life of me. I'm trying to like scrape it off. Okay, some of it's coming off. This will probably be the uh, end, end credit scene. But I've got two Spanish now. One's just over 12 to the fork. This one's a little over 13. These were so much fun to catch. I mean, they were flinging, they were, they were flinging blood all over me. I probably still have blood on me from this guy, but there, that whole pot is headed down the beach, so I don't think I'll be able to get on, uh, back on him again until they come back. But I'm gonna keep throwing this lure. <laughs> My camera died right as I was catching that bigger one. I was like, ah, oh. So that was super fun. I can't wait to do that again. and the tank tops that you see me fishing in. Ladies in our group that are telling me that this is the most comfortable shirt that they wear. They wear it all the time. They buy more because it's super comfortable. It keeps you cool in the summer and it keeps you warm in the winter, but it's a very soft material. It's got our Fishing Girl logo. If you like what we're doing and you want to support it, then consider buying one of our t-shirts. It's going to help us out a lot. But here's back to our video. Yep. Oh, I had a big tug. I had a big tug. Let's try it again. Ugh, I can't leave. I can't leave. I need, to, I need to get on these fish. Okay, I lied. One more time. One more time. This is so cool. <laughs> 